Hi, I'm Jack Cuso, and today is a very special unboxing. I have been saving up all like 26 of these diamonds, all to be unboxed in one massive mystery unboxing video, and that unboxing video is happening right now. I am so excited to open all of these things. This is going to be ridiculous. There's, we've got stuff that is currently unreleased, like this Dragonoid, uh, this Dragonoid set, this Hyper Dragonoid Diamond, uh, I've got Diamond, I've got Phaedrus, I've got, uh, Diamond Hydronoid, Diamond Scorporos. Quick explanation, some of this stuff, like, uh, the Diamond Dragonoid, and the unreleased stuff, and the Phaedrus, a lot of this stuff was sent to me from Spin Master, but for each pack I unbox, I'm going to say whether I got it from Spin Master, whether I found it in a big diamond hunt that I was on, uh, whether I got it from friends, because they all come from different sources all around, uh, where I live and over the mail. We're gonna make this a mystery unboxing, and this is probably going to be painful <laughs> to watch. I'm putting all these diamonds <laughs> inside a trash bag, and I'm gonna be pulling them out one at a time to unbox as we go along. So you guys are not gonna know which one I'm gonna unbox next, which one I'm going to open. It's all gonna be a big mystery. Ho ho ho! Merry Diamond! This feels so wrong, and I'm sorry. You can realize without the, uh, without the audio, this is just footage of you putting diamonds in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be anything. Ooh! Diamond Garganoid! We don't have much time here, because we've got a lot to cover. There's like 26 diamonds here, so I'm gonna have to just go quick and get right into it. Oh, this is so brutally satisfying. Okay. So, Diamond Bakugan are the rarest Bakugan currently. They're very rare chase figures. Not even every case that gets sent out to a store gets Diamond Bakugan. I found this one uh, just at a Walmart. Let's roll this guy out. Okay. <laughs> wow! Right away we have a perfect flip. Uh, a lot of the diamonds right now have a uh, metallic flake in the paint, so like that black paint actually has some sparkly metallic uh, coloration in it. Let's get right into the next one. Oh, what could it be? Another single. Oh, this one's very desirable. This one is Ultra Diamond Trox. I'm so lucky. This is another one that I found myself. No, my dad found this one, if I remember right. Oh, man. Yes! Another Stan! That's two in a row. Look at him, I still love the way he grabs the core underneath his chin. You can see the metallic paint much better. You can see on his legs, on the side there, underneath his chin, you can see it shine and sparkle. The plastic, even the green plastic looks almost pearlescent. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, I got another three pack. Oh, Diamond Maxitor! This is one of the early three packs that came out. Maybe actually the first Diamond three pack. My brother actually ordered this online. I don't typically like ordering diamonds online because I enjoy the thrill of the hunt much more so than having them. Uh, but I'm going to be opening his. He's actually already opened it. and I took I, the Baku cores out. Took the Baku cores out and the cards, uh, but we've resealed it just so we can open it up in this video so you guys can uh, take, take a look. So let's get right to it. The three packs are such a joy to get because you get so many diamonds from them. That's the best way to like really just bump up your collection. Okay, the audio on that probably is spectacular. But in the diamond three pack, just like a normal three pack, you get one ultra diamond and two core diamonds. So let's start with uh, the beautiful, beautiful lady, Diamond Pegatrix. <laughs> Flopped over. But there she is. This one is very, very translucent. I don't even know that there's a single solid plastic piece on this entire thing. I like how uh, a lot of the, yeah, there he is. I like that a lot of the main character Bakugan get diamond versions. Not a Minitar, a Maxitar. There he is. This is one of the most more disappointing uh, ultra flips because he just flops face first. 
until you stand him up and get his feet out. Really, really nice looking. I love the way Maxitar looks standing up. I just wish he would do it on his own. Uh, let's, let's keep a going. I don't know what. <laughs> Here we have Mr. Benton Dusk's Hydronoid. I've only seen Bakugan up to where it is on Netflix. So I haven't actually seen Hydronoid in the show yet, but I know I know Benton Benton uses him. This is one of the ones that Spin Master sent to me. Oh man, this one's This one didn't even open good. I'm gonna have to use the nearest available tool. Some pliers, I guess. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Big pop open there. Gosh, he looks huge actually, even just for a core Bakugan. All of the heads just splay out like that. That's so awesome looking. He looks like a some kind of like a bloomin' onion, like Outback Steakhouse or something. You can also see the sparkly, sparkly paint very well on the back. It doesn't beat out the single-headed Hydronoid, I don't think, from the last line, but he's pretty, pretty cool. People are just starting to see this guy popping up in stores. <laughs> I love that. They might all be totally translucent. Oh my, we still have so many more to get through though. Okay, interesting story behind this one. This pack we found for the first time in LA after Anime Expo. Uh, me and Connor and the Baku nerds were all uh, hunting in LA and we went to a Walmart and they had uh, was it this pack? I've actually found a couple of these, traded a bunch of them away. Oh, those cards are up there. Yeah, I super don't have enough time to go through all of the cards, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get a spin roll on Tritonium. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, here we go. Yeah! Flawless. Mantanoid is one of uh, Connor's favorite Bakugan, the, the man behind the camera. Okay. Oh, yes! I'm so glad Mantanoid also got a diamond version, but I wish they would do an, an Ultra Diamond Mantanoid. Yeah! Ultra Pirate Cindius. I don't know how to roll this guy to make him stand up, but here goes. Woo! Yes! Beautiful, it's so hard to get this guy to stand up. That worked amazingly well. I love the way Ultra Cindius picks up his uh, core to act like his little shield there. The green on that sword is all sparkly and metallic. That looks beautiful. All of the paint on this one is all sparkly. Since this Bakugan doesn't have much mechanism, the only part of him that's uh, solid plastic is his little shield arm there. Look at how many we have already. I actually, I've actually got a plan for what to do with all of these guys once I have them all uh, out of their packages. I found this just the other day while I was looking for poker chips. And actually it's a poker chip case. But I realized that since it didn't have any poker chips in it, this would fit Diamond Bakugan, this would fit any Bakugan perfectly. You can see I've already got a couple of the Bakugan I have, including a little, little treat, a little Diamond Dragonoid that I stole uh, right under the nose of uh, Nico, Ghost Lights. But that's, that's for later in the video. Let's get to our next box. Pow! Woo! Diamond Hyper Dragonoid. Okay, this is one of the unreleased Bakugan that Spin Master sent me. Ultra Bakugan packages are made so they're able to hold two cards. I talked to Ventus Knight about this at Anime Expo. The uh, tolerances, meaning the amount of gaps between different parts of the packaging in the Ultra Bakugan packaging are made to hold two cards. So the Ultra Diamond Bakugan packages are able to hold both the character card and the Diamond Evo. Uh, but what's actually interesting looking at this is that might be, I don't know if this is the case with all of these, but this, it does have the character card for Ultra Dragonoid, but the Evo is not actually the Diamond Evo for Ultra Dragonoid. Is there a Diamond Evo for Ultra Dragonoid? I feel like there should be, but I don't know what it is. Drago's a weird exception with a lot of Evos. He really is. And Titan Dragonoid. <laughs> he tumble. So on Titan, no, Hyper Dragonoid. Uh, you can click his wings up like that, and then extend his horn, much like the old school Dragonoids. And then he's in his full form, ready to attack, ready to protect. I uh, I kept I closed all of these guys up off camera to save time. 
now we move on to... Ooh, three pack, yes! Diamond Phaedrus, another one from Spin Master. I got this one a long time ago, and I feel bad because hopefully Spin Master wasn't like, when is, when is, when is Jack gonna open all this stuff that we sent him for free? I'm like, I'm gonna get to it. I'm just saving it. I'm savoring the flavor for when it'll be the most delightful. Okay, here's Phaedrus. Where did I put my pliers? This guy's a little bit tough to close from what I remember. She. Uh, this lady's pretty tough to close from what I remember. Let's start with, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so scatterbrained right now because I'm coming up with so many ideas. Uh, Vice Rocks. You can spin roll Vice Rocks very, very well. All of Vice Rocks' weight is on the side, so I'm pretty sure you can spin roll him. Yeah! I love Vice Rocks. He's basically just Terror Claw from the original series. If you like, if you do that, Squish him in a little bit. Like, uh, boom, there's a, there's a Terra Claw. I actually really, really like the Vice Rocks design. I haven't been able to uh, unbox or review him on the show because I haven't been doing a lot of unboxings lately because there's been so many events going on. Goes off to the side. Now, Fade Ninja, a big old, big old fat reference to the original Shun from the Battle Brawlers series. Oh, whoopsie. Ooh, he's stuck. There he is. Cow! He's very fat. His mechanism is a little bit similar to Trox. You're really calling him Fat Ninja? <laughs> oh no! And Ninja Power. Uh oh. He's sticky. What's up with him? Worst case scenario, you put it on a shelf and have it look absolutely beautiful. Oh man, she goes. <laughs> wow. It looks so different from normal Phaedrus. Yep. Okay, moving on to the big old. Good old Baku garbage bag. Oh, looks like we got another three pack. Ah, what a wild coincidence. Uh, this is the pack that has the uh, normal core diamond Phaedrus. I find it very interesting that Phaedrus gets a diamond, but Halcor never got a diamond. Despite the fact that uh, Halcor is Lightning's main partner. And then we have Diamond Phaedrus. And, um, trash. We have just, uh, actual trash. This one's just going, uh, this one's just going, this one's just going back in the back. And Kubo! <laughs> Opinions on Kubo are very mixed. And he has sort of a tragic backstory in the show. But I don't, just because you've had a hard time in your life, and you're lonely, doesn't mean you can act like a huge jerk. <laughs> Befitting of his status. I have used her in a deck before. I've taken her out, but yeah, there we go. Same color pattern, same color scheme, but two completely different looking Bakugan. The Ultra really emphasizes the flaps and the wings and stuff that Phaedrus has, whereas the core emphasizes the long, dragon-like version. I personally think the core looks way more like Phaedrus than the Ultra. This Phaedrus is actually fantastic for blocking. <laughs> See? <laughs> she can really, really go. Okay. Hey! Yeah, that one grabbed the core really well. I just want to carry around in my hand and like spook people like that. Not that they'll think it's a spider, because it's, you know, clear, but whatever. <laughs> Steven down at the local comic shop collected, uh, powerfully pointless on YouTube. Uh, he hates spiders, but he really likes Webham because the design is so cool. Let's see how many diamonds we have here right now. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's actually still either like 9 or 10 diamonds left to go. There's still so many. Hey, another three pack. Diamond Gortheon. This is one of the other original diamond three packs. Let's just go ahead and crack it open. Because attention span can only last for so long. I would honestly really recommend people go diamond hunting. Sometimes it can be a little bit unsatisfying because obviously you don't find something every single time. 
that's just the case with Baku hunting in general. You have to you have to go to a lot of stores very frequently to try to catch it right when one gets put on a shelf because these things sell right away. Well, that's lovely. There's no one home. I actually have to answer that. Dang it! But I got this one from friends at the comic book shop. That's another way to get diamonds. If you have a local community for Bakugan and you're able to get people in your area that also like it, sometimes one person will end up running into duplicate diamond Bakugan. Fangzor's native faction is Pyrus. You can see because it comes with the Pyrus character card and the Pyrus Diamond Evo. But for some reason, I think that was changed in the development process, and they thought Fangzor was going to be Ventus, so they printed him with all of the Ventus coloration. This is the only Bakugan currently that's totally legal to change the faction with paint. Alright. Fangzor! You all know Fangzor. The good snake boy. He's been in your videos from the start. The great lad. Yeah, he's yeah, I know he's been here since like one of the very first videos. Sha! I love Corsair Penties so much. I use Corsair Penties, uh, one of them in one of my decks. I don't even know if diamonds look as amazing on camera as they do in person, because in person they just look spectacular. Um, okay, this is Gortheon, Leah's uh, other main Bakugan. I might actually have her entire team now in all diamonds. Okay. I just recently watched the entire show on Netflix, so I'm kind of all hopped up on the uh, Battle Planet lore. A horse, a horse, of course, of course. Yeah, that's our whole team there. Gortheon, Pegatrix, and uh, Kubo, who I've only actually seen appear twice in the show. Thank goodness, and the second time he died immediately. <laughs> Once I get uh, Diamond Kelion and Diamond Ventus Lupithion, that'll be the full teams of all of the awesome ones. That's so cool. Well, let's see if we can find one of those uh, Hydruses. Yes! What do you know? Core Hydrus. Everyone has a core hydrus. They're really easy to find. I don't know. They're a little boring. <laughs> okay. Hydrus. Pow. And uh, Vice Rocks. Pow. Sticky Ninja. Yeah. Fade Ninja. Pow. There's Shun's whole team. Here's the Ultra Hydrus. Let's just crack into this while we're looking at Shun's Bakugan. Solid. Let's see if we can get a decent flip out of him. And go! Yes! Perfect! He doesn't actually have a lot of clear pieces, does he? No! That's one reason no one likes Diamond Hydras very much. He's just because he's so much mechanism. It was one of the early ones they made. He's so much mechanism, but he just doesn't have a lot of clear pieces. Let's get these closed up. I'm so excited to fill up this case. Mine looks like it's only two boxes. Okay. I'm just going to choose then. I'm going to choose the Diamond Scorporos. This is another one that was sent to me by Spin Master. Thank you, Spin Master, for uh, sending this stuff out to the community. A lot of Bakugan sometimes first appear as diamonds. So I'm really excited to see what Scorporos looks like. Yes! Another amazing core Bakugan. I always loved uh, the Scorpion Bakugan, like Coin Scorpion, in the original show. And then, was, was Stinglash? Was Stinglash uh, Scorpion? He rolls really easy. He's really smooth on rolling. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. One left over. Ta-da! Diamond Dragonoid 3-pack! Another one sent to me by Spin Master. Some of you might have seen these already. A lot of the other influencers have already opened this pack. But I am so, so excited to. Because I really love Dragon Ultra, and this is the first appearance of an Arliss Diamond Bakugan in the form of Arliss Trino. I don't even know what this one is, honestly. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So this is kind of a mystery. I'm actually going to do that one last because I don't know what it is. I'm sure you guys probably know already, but I don't know. 
This stuff is so cool looking. I'm really glad we pulled out this pack last. Okay. Look at how vibrant and sparkly the red paint looks. That's so good looking. It actually looks better on this one than it does on the Cindius. It's a much deeper, richer red. And there's no red paint on this one. It's all only red plastic. That's so cool. This guy's like really stuck in this, so I'm actually gonna use scissors on him. Uh, if you're if you're young, I would definitely encourage you to get your parents to help you with this to make sure you don't break them, especially if you need to use scissors. I have no idea what this is. This is the very first R-less diamond Bakugan. I didn't even know they were going to make these. Yeah! R-less are oftentimes so beautiful with their gold, gold sparkly coloration. So then you put that on top of a diamond Bakugan and it creates something just truly magical to sound like an Apple commercial. It probably just looks brown on camera, rest in peace Subterra. It's a bit just like a springy tertonium, but eh, whatever. Not too bad, doesn't hurt my feelings. One step closer to a mono dino team. One step closer to mono dino. <laughs> Let's see if the diamond ultra dragonoid will toss away its cores. Da -da 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 -da. Ah. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> that's not really... That's not necessarily the best example of a... of a Dragonlight Ultra working. <laughs> wow! Seems like he flips forward so much more than the normal Ultra Dragonoid does. He doesn't cost- he doesn't toss the core at all! Yes! Finally! An Ultra Dragonoid that will not toss a core. Let me compare with the Hyper. Hold on. Ooh, he just stands. Seems to work so incredibly well. <laughs> Why does he go forward so much? That's crazy! I think this might be a new blocker. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Let me have the camera for their back. Whoa. I think we might have the return of Baku Sky Raiders. Hold on. New Bakugan Sky Raiders. Jump. Explode. Soar. For the first time ever, Bakugan takes the battle to the sky. Ready? Yep. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, it seems to they've they've compounded all of his issues into what he does when you roll him backwards rather than forwards. Let's see what this last Bakugan is. Oh, this feels evil. I don't know what this is. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, it's Kloptor! Yeah! He looks so dumb! <laughs> I love that. This is just Tentaclear. This is basically just Tentaclear, but with like a tail. He goes more out than back. That's cool. Look, he's just a big eyeball. The paint on his eyeball is a little bit wonky looking, but you know what they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's all of them. That's all of our diamond packs. That's all of the diamond Bakugan that I own. Let's put them in their, in their new home. In this amazing, amazing case. Yes! <laughs> I have achieved ultimate power. This is the biggest flex ever. Okay, let's do let's do a reenactment of me coming to the club, okay? Hey kid. Not a creepy way to start it. Hey punk. You think you've got cool Bakugan? <laughs> Normal single-headed hydroid? <laughs> Helios Mark II? <laughs> I don't think so. And then, oh no, they've opened. Well, wow, this is just becoming a difficult. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video and bearing with me as I open up this ridiculous amount of diamonds. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Spin Master, for sending me all of this. 
Massive thanks to my base patrons over on Patreon, D. Blake Wirtz and Joshua Monday. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. And massive thanks to my brand new Titan patron, Varen OOC. Thank you so much for your support. I really hope you enjoy a lot of the content that I'm going to be making uh, with the help of your support. If you want to help support me on Patreon, go over, check out the page, see some of the tiers and rewards and stuff that I've got over there. I've got some really cool stuff and I'm really excited to be able to make even more content for you guys using the support I'm getting on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment if you like the video and if you have any questions about the Bakugan featured in this video. Follow me on Twitter at JetCuso and make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. This is JetCuso and I'll see you next time. Hoop!